Hey guys, welcome to Double Check. Today I want to share with you my two best natural sweeteners that is safe to eat. Let's do this. Monk fruit is a natural sweetener and it's called Luo Huang Guo or Swingle. It looks like a small tennis ball shape and it grows on the vine. The monk fruit is a native to regions of Southeast Asia, including some parts of Thailand and China. Buddhist monks in the 13th century were the first to cultivate the fruit, which is the reason for its name. Fresh monk fruit spoils rather quickly. Traditionally, people use dried monk fruit in herbal medicines. Nowadays, monk fruit is most popular as a natural sweetener. The fruit's extract contains substances called mogrocytes, which are intensely sweet. According to International Food Information Council Foundation, monk fruit is around 150 to 200 times sweeter than sugar. Some manufacturers mix the extract with different sugars to balance out the intensity. Here are reasons why I want to have monk fruit rather than sugar in my diet. Monk fruit can help you to restrict your caloric intake since it has zero calories. Monk fruit is good for people who are on a low carbohydrate or ketogenic diet since it has zero carbohydrates. Monk fruit can keep the blood sugar low because it has no effect rising your insulin level. The good news is there are no harmful side effects. The US Food and Drug Administration FDA considers monk fruit sweeteners to be generally regarded as safe. There are appears to be no evidence that monk fruit sweeteners cause harmful side effects. Stevia is a sweetener extracted from the leaves of the Stevia ribodiana plant, which is native to some parts of South America. The leaves contain substances known as stevioglycosides, which are 200 to 400 times sweeter than table sugar. Stevia has been used as a sweetener for centuries. Despite this, the FDA have not approved the use of raw stevia due to safety concerns. However, the FDA do consider high purity extracts of stevioglycosides to be generally regarded as safe. This means that in the US, stevia sweetener usually consists of highly purified extracts of the stevioglycosides, ribodioside A or steviocide. They may contain a mixture of both. Here are the reasons why I prefer stevia sweetener rather than sugar. Stevia can also help you to restrict your caloric intake since it has zero calories. Stevia is also good for people who are on a low carbohydrate or ketogenic diet since it has zero carbohydrates. The last one can also keep the blood sugar low because it has no effect rising your insulin level. It sounds pretty good, huh? Well, the downside getting stevia in your diet is you may have some side effect in gas, nausea, and bloating. People who have allergy to daisy, sunflower, and chrysanthemums, they should stay away from stevia since stevia is a part of the C plant family. FDA doesn't permit an unrefined stevia to sell at the market since it may not be safe to consume. Only refined of highly purified stevia can be sold and consumed safely according to the FDA. If you consume the first time of stevia and monk fruit, I would not recommend adding the natural sweetener directly to your food or drinks because the sweetener can be very, very, very sweet. Also, it has a different kind of unique taste to it. You can either give a pure taste with one eighth of a teaspoon or add one eighth of a teaspoon to your water and give it a try in that way. In my personal opinion, stevia and monk fruit are great to have to replace with sugar. Other it has some great benefits. I wouldn't rely on any natural sweetener. Instead, I try to change my brain and taste towards in the unsweetened and sour direction so that I don't crave for sweet food in general. I believe it is possible to shut off the brain to dislike sweet food. If you like this kind of video content, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and always double check.